Bringing, I think, a show like this to the West End is going to be pretty special. It's a, it's a bit of a ways off yet, but um, we're already preparing, you know, um, with a lot of it already under our belts. We're just deepening it and deepening and deepening it. So we're really excited. You and me, pal. I, I, I ju jumped into it. Um, just uh, as a fool, which I think is sometimes the best way to do it. And what I found when I performed here 18 years ago was this incredible community, a supportive community of artists, uh, a great equality, which I just love. And um, the hierarchy exists in sort of uh, experience in age, and um, that's appropriate because I, I feel like it's very different in the U.S. in a lot of ways. It was formative to me. It changed my whole process of my own work and the way I approached it. I was, thank God I was so naive. Um, <laughs> sorry it took taking me 18 years to get back here. This is one of the greatest shows ever written in the canon of the musical theater. And... Wow. <laughs> it is. True. It's true. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And, and um, you know, you come to the stage terrified and also exhilarated because you get to work on the most exquisite material ever written. And every time we open the book, we find something new. We hear something new. We see something new. So this is such an opportunity for us to take a step deeper into the water. Until they distance and die. I just feel like they're the best listeners. I really, I mean, I, they're just, uh, for some reason, there's just a, a history. Uh, it's deeply embedded in the culture here of, you know, of live theater. I think there's more of a history with this audience. They're not sort of newcomers. There are some, but a lot of people who just adore theater, wherever it may be. And um, and if you're you're doing okay, then they'll stick with you, you know. And I love that.